Hey guys, we meet again. So today, um, well first of all, this video is going up on Sunday because as you know, Saturdays mean Sunday at this point for my channel. And there's literally no excuse, like, I'm just lazy. But I realized that on um, my channel, um, it's been a while since I've done like a rant video or just a video where I'm angry on the inside. And it's been a really long time since I made a pet peeves video because I think the first one was my second video and that was... We're not gonna talk about it. So I thought I'd do an updated version um, because over the past six months, ever since that video, I've made a new list of more people that I really hate. If you watch this video with the end, you'll know not to do these things so you don't piss me off. So anyways, here are some of my pet peeves. Number one, this one is like the biggest one for this whole year and it is heat. I can't tell you how much I hate summer and spring. I don't see one benefit besides like going to the beach, which the beach is an hour and 30 away from here, I think. Summer is the time when everything unhibernates and all the bees and the bugs and the birds and the bees and the snakes and just things that could kill me. And I remember when I was a kid, I had a big fear of things that could kill me. I literally cried myself to sleep at night thinking I would die. And I still have that fear inside my head, so I'd rather not deal with a snake in my backyard. Summer is also the time when everyone sweats and I can't cover my body as much as I could. In the winter, I could wear five layers and still be cold. Here. I can't even wear this shirt without sweating. It's literally 80 degrees in here. Which leads me to the next pet peeve. Number two, shorts. If you know me personally, you know I hate wearing shorts because in my opinion, they're pants that don't do their job. If I'm paying you to cover my body, I want you to cover all of my body. Plus, I think I look better in skinny jeans and that concluded to me having a hatred for shorts. I think the last time I wore shorts was when I accidentally had to wear girl shorts because I forgot to bring my shorts for gym class. Other than that, it's been like eight months. Number three, live concerts. If you've ever been to a concert, you know that A, the majority of people are, have their phones out like this, just videotaping the whole entire thing. B, there's a bunch of people who really can't sing, yet they're singing. Which I get, like, you're excited to be there, it's your favorite artist probably, and you just want to yell out your emotions. But maybe if you can't sing, keep it to yourself, because everyone else around you is gonna get annoyed. And to the people who are videotaping, I'm pretty sure the point of a concert is for you to enjoy it. And you can't enjoy it if you're busy videotaping. Plus, I don't even know what you're gonna do with the video. You're probably not gonna watch it back because one, it has terrible quality, and two, everyone else behind you is shouting into the phone. Number four, selfies. It just came to me that the reason you're taking a selfie is because no one else can take a picture of you, which that just, that just shows how alone you are in life. You are so alone that no one else around you can take a picture of you. Plus the other thing is I can't take a good selfie so I gave up and I'm not gonna do it ever again. Number five, all of these fall under a huge umbrella called annoying things people say to you. You should have been there. I'm sorry for the way you feel. Let's make plans and then you don't make plans. I'll be there in 15 minutes. They arrive in an hour. No offense when it really means take offense. I don't really care about the first four, but that last one bugs me so much because no offense and then you say something offensive, the first part doesn't matter at all. To me, that's saying like, I don't want you to die, but I do want you to die. The first part doesn't matter anymore. What you really should say is, you're probably gonna get offended by this, but I'm gonna say this instead, so here you go. Number six, when you call someone and you're asked like, is blank person there? And they respond with, this is she, she is speaking, speaking. Just say yes, please. That's all you need to say. Number seven, I think, um, when people like press the elevator door a bunch of times thinking that it's gonna make it go faster, the amount of times you press that button will not make it go faster at all. It's just gonna slow it down because you are constantly giving it a command and then we're gonna get stuck in the elevator all because of you. And I just wanna say one thing, it just came to my mind. Why do we call it elevator music when no music ever plays in the elevator? I've never heard it before. Number eight. When you say thank you, and they respond with, okay. I'm sorry, I know I said it out of politeness, but I expect something not passive aggressive at least. Another thing similar to that is when you open the door for someone and they just walk past without even saying thank you, because apparently those people think that people should just open doors for them. Number nine, people who don't understand the rules to just a general thing that people should understand. For example, if you're going through airport security, I have to deal with this with my parents all the time and I feel so embarrassed because everyone's looking at us. It should be known to everyone that you have to take your shoes off, you can't have that computer in your bag, and you can't take liquids above eight ounces. It's not that hard to remember. And even though my sister and I say this to our parents every single time, somehow my mom ends up bringing like a 32 ounce bottle of perfume that she got as a gift and she couldn't bring that with her. Another thing is you're at a fast food restaurant and the person in front of you is like, I don't know, five people behind that person taking their order. And once that guy gets up to the counter, he starts looking at the menu 
and trying to figure out what he's going to order. And the last one, a lot of people are about to get offended about this, but people who write first in the comment section. I know all of you have seen it. I can't, I see it too from you guys. Do you know that it's not really like, you shouldn't be that proud in my opinion. Historically, being the first at something is very good, like George Washington, first president. Um, and that's about all I can think of because it's like a history. But making it a routine to be first on a video and comment that first is just plain sad. You have better things to do than wait for my video to be uploaded, especially if it's me. All right, take it lightly though, I still love all of you. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about one of your pet peeves, and subscribe because it posts videos every... I love you guys and everything is less than three.